a lot of people ask, can we hook up to the fire hydrants? Well, bottom line is, what I found out, and this is the way I'm going with it, because I'm the kind of person who begs for forgiveness um, before I ask for permission sometimes. Because you know that some of these townships are very lazy and so forth. But, you come into a townhouse community and you see a meter box like this. That means that all the water from the township feeding this entire complex is billed to the property owners or the management company. So you can tap off the fire hydrant. Now, some communities, each individual residence pays the, the water department. So that means the water department owns the whole infrastructure and they own the water. So then you need a meter from that particular township. But in our case, the meter box, the property management company or the owners pay for all the water coming onto this property. They own all the infrastructure. So we just hook up to the hydrants. We do still use a water meter. And the reason why is because we're going to use about 40,000 gallons. And we, don't, we do not want them charging the residents for that. So we let them know exactly how much we use. What we do is we basically take our company cam app, that's time date stamp, take a picture of the meter in the morning, take a picture of the meter at night, um, and then we know exactly how much water we're using. All right, but yeah, two different situations. Meter box, the whole property, is the water and the infrastructure is paid by the property owners, management company, or you have a, a complex that has each individual um, meter on the house and it's billed by the water department. So I always love it when we find this type of situation because then we don't have to call the town, we don't have to do anything like that. We just tell them that we're gonna be pulling water and then we'll let them know exactly how much we use. All right, guys, keep on spraying. All right, this is how we fill the rig up from the hydrant. Now here's a hydrant meter. We get the ball valve. We, we have the meter here. Now, one little trick I found. I like to use a 90 degree. The reason why I do that is because, you know, we don't crank this up all the way. There's no, really no reason to. I mean, this thing here is filling up pretty quick. Is if you just have a straight fitting here, these hose clamps I have are pretty damn good. These are pinch clamps. Now. It will sometimes blow or stress the hose out. So that's why we do a 90 degree. It stops the violent water from stressing the hose out. We have it come up here to a water trailer. As this fills up here, we go ahead and start this engine here. And then we fill the truck. When we move the truck to different locations, we disconnect this hose here. When we get to that location we're spraying, we connect the hose up because as we're spraying, we want to fill the 525 from the 1600 gallon. All right. And then when we're done, I'll show you in a minute how we wrap up the hose to make it nice and neat so no dirt gets on it. Now, when we're done filling it up, we notice the wrench is right here. We go ahead and we stick our hose right on the wrench so it looks just like this it's not laying on the ground this is not getting dirty it's not going to get dirt or any grass inside your hose it's a little things like this that keep it neat and organized see now we're spraying this here we, we pulled up he's already got almost empty here so what we're going to do is we're going to take this hose we have here comes around Connected here. We turn this valve on here. We're gonna choke it, turn it on. And that's it. Just gonna fill that tank up. We don't just about quarter idle, that's all we need. And within about a minute, that 500 gallon tank is gonna be full. And then what we do is just disconnect that, throw it over there, move over to the next building or so forth. That's how we transfer the water from here to there.